Yeah, yes, my name is uh, Red Eye. Yeah, you dicks. I saw the comment section. I saw what you guys did to me. I told you a story in confidence. I thought we were friends. We were friends. I'm going to wear goggles from here on out. Anyways, what's up, guys? Uh, I wanted to play a little bit of PS4 right now. I don't have much choice. Uh, they don't get up to dig out the old line in my house until Monday the 13th. Hopefully, I'll have my internet within the next couple days. So hopefully, it's less than a week until I'm back on normal. I'm starting to live stream and do all kinds of crazy, fun, unique things with you guys. My, col uh, my quality and the content of what that I provide for you guys is going to skyrocket. You're going to see a lot of cool new shows with a lot of cool new commentators and lots of cool new things. So get excited for that. I am. Anyways, I wanted to talk to you guys about something. I realize that we as people, we like to complain about things, but we don't like to offer up alternatives or fun suggestions. We just like to bitch about things because it makes us feel better. Oh my God, the hit detection and net code's broken. That's the end of our argument. We whine about things and then we don't like, oh, that'd be cool if, you know, they did this and that. So I wanted to kind of make a video about things that I would like to see happen or added to or done in Battlefield 4 or maybe even kind of like a wish list for Battlefield 5. Uh, but it's something that I would like to see changed, something I would like to see altered. And um, I wanted to start with something else. I find that Battlefield is a very, very serious game. I get overheated when, you know, I'm the only one on the team doing anything. We all have those moments. So I think that they need to incorporate game types, more types of game types that are more fun, stress-free, that, that, that aren't so much about the objective, but more so about killing and having fun. Um, and, and the first one I would start with would be King of the Hill. There's something about that game type that is always so much fun, so refreshing. You run back and forth to all the different locations in the map, and you try to hold it down. And the more people that are on the location point, the randomized location point, the more people on your team, you build up points. So yeah, you can go for the win. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. But in the end, when you win or lose, it's really not that big a deal. I, I just have a lot of fun going back and forth, and I think that would be a great game type to add to this game. I think as more and more people are finding out about the game, there are a lot of people that already play TDM. There are a lot of people that are now playing Domination. Uh, it's, it's aiming towards competitive, too. I think with those game types in there, they need to be more people that would be more attractive to shooters similar to cod or halo or something like that and by doing that would bring in a couple more refreshing game types that and maybe like a kill confirmed seeing as how um you know dog tags you usually drop when you kill the person it'd be unique if we had the actual person's dog tags dropped when you killed them on top of that maybe if you knifed them it would count as two tags you could always customize that because dog tags are rooted in the battlefield game because you take their tags when you knife them it's an embarrassing thing so i think that would be a cool game type to bring in it's kind of like tdm but with a little bit of extra flash where you have to go actually capture your kill so it's kind of cool um on top of that, uh, I was also thinking about a, a just a, a little a little twist on current games like Conquest, uh, like a four way conquest. You'd have like Chinese and Russian and Americans and transvestites. You'd have like four way fight. I, I couldn't think of anybody else at the at the current time, um, but you'd have like four way fight. So imagine like something like Domination, where there's three points but four teams. That'd be really cool. So like a red, green, blue, yellow sort of situation, um, multi team sort of deal. I thought that'd be a cool fun thing, cool twist. I don't know. I just like things to be refreshing. I like there to be mini game types to play and I can always switch around. Um, the, the only two fixes that I honestly would like to see change differently would be the perks. I don't like the new perk system. I, I liked how I really did used to like how it was in Battlefield 3 where you picked, I want sprint, I want nades, I want explosives. And you got to see and you can easily look and simply look at your screen and see what your teammates are running and try to run something else. So I really liked the perk system before. I don't like how it is now. Uh, the knifing system, I don't like it all. I think that uh, melee needs to be a direct and very impacting part of every first person shooter. I don't even really knife so much anymore because I know even if I knife him from the side, there's a good chance it's going to turn into a counter knife. And I've just learned to not do that because I'm going to end up getting them a free kill and me dying and ruining my streak and help and costing a ticket. So they've basically eliminated, because of fear, they've eliminated the melee system out of Battlefield. And I don't like that. I think they had it perfect. I don't, I don't think they needed to mess with it at all in Battlefield 3 because Battlefield 3, I mean, you weren't going to be able to swipe somebody once, twice, maybe even three times at the front to be able to kill a guy. I think they had it right. That was perfectly fine for me. On top of that, um, they could have done a, something a little bit different with counter knifing because it's just so unfair. I think that if there was a moment where you guys are in that tango and you guys are, you know, making eye contact all gay like, um, before that that person can mash the counter button, I think that there may be a, a it should be more of a hands up challenge thing. So four randomized buttons on your keyboard would pop up or randomized buttons on your controller or something like that. And the first person to mash all four down in the, in the proper order would actually win that kill. So I think they could have done things a little bit differently with the counter knifing. I'm just not a fan of that. Um, another idea is 
uh, take, taking on success. Um, one thing that I've noticed from Call of Duty series is that they have that zombies. I My stepfather for years only bought that game for zombies. He never played multiplayer, didn't enjoy it, so on and so forth. And there are a lot of people that buy COD for zombies. Some people would buy that game for zombies alone. It could be a standalone. People really do love that game type. And I was thinking, we're always talking about dinosaurs, and I think this is what many people secretly want when they say they want dinosaurs. Is a game type similar to that? A survival and extermination and extinction type game type? Where the situation at hand would be, there would be lots of dinosaurs, and they would come in in waves, and it would be something fun to do. So if there was a, a Call of Duty Zombies type, um, you know, wave form of dinosaurs in Battlefield, like a Jurassic Park survival thing, people would love the hell out of that. It'd be a refreshing, different aspect. I mean, it would take a lot of time for them to build that thing. But I think it would be a really, really good competitor to uh, the, the their only real challenge out there for them, and that's Call of Duty. Um Another couple little things I would like to see are just little simple things inside the game. I would like to see like co-op. I would like to see that back. Maybe even squad games. So take the entire campaign but set it up as four-way players or something like that. The game is rooted around teamwork and compatibility and stuff like that. So I think that would be good. On top of that, better call-outs or something for certain situations. I, I don't like the system. There's not enough call-outs that I wish it was just better hotkeys and stuff for they're taking B, they're taking A, or even... If you got within five meters of somebody that's down, it would say, I need revived or something like that. Something that you can actually hear and notice where it's coming from. Because a lot of people just happen to walk over bodies and miss them. And I think that would improve, you know, the revive times and people can work on that. And, you know, I see people blinking with ammo all the time, but sometimes it forgets to register. Even though there's a hundred of them in front of me, it, sometimes I forget that, oh, hey, maybe I should do that. But if, if all of them within five meters of me were yelling, oh, hey, give me fucking ammo, I'd probably be like, well, maybe they're hungry. And I'd feed them some ammo. And that's just something I would do. So I was thinking they could do something a little bit more, I don't know, involved uh, in the game audio-wise to make us, you know, revive and drop health more when people need it and if you're close enough to somebody. Um, there's that. And last but not least, I would like to see some sort of a reward system, uh, a little bit more in-depth reward system. At the end of the game, and you can see at the top of your screen, you get your ribbons and stuff like that. I was thinking of having, like, certain medals that you've been used to from games throughout the year when i i feel good if i get a nice triple or quad kill i want to see you know double kill triple kill i like to see something like that i know a lot of people don't like that but i'm not saying i want the guy to go triple kill we're not talking like unreal and quake voices or anything like that i don't think that belongs in a game like this but i would like to see um you know at the end of the game i'd like there to be leaderboards and person with the most kills or most ribbons or most helicopter takedowns i would like to see that stuff because it's extra rewarding and it's more important for game types like Team Deathmatch and Domination, things that aren't so objective-oriented. But I would start appreciating them a little bit more if there were, you know, triple kills. And you could start keeping that on your battle log. If if you look at a guy and you see that his stats, but I think if you are more in-depth with it, you'll understand what kind of player that is. Because statistically, uh, Battlefield 3, for example, I only used Recon. But I probably had more MCOMs planted and taken than anyone I had ever known. It was just something I did. I was just I was always getting three or four MCOMs a game when there was only six to eight of them. It was just something I did. I played the game so hard, but my score wouldn't reflect exactly how much I would play. That could have been revives or anything like that. So I think that if they broke it down a little bit more, it'd be more. Um, I guess it would be more exciting for that. So that's where I am. Something I would like to see would be better accolades. You know kill streak ribbons stuff like that whatever but that's just how i feel if there's anything you guys would like to add to it or anything you disagree with mine just with the comment sections they have full go ahead and do it leave a comment saying i don't think that idea would go good with the battlefield side or get but again if you're going to complain about something offer something up in return think of a cool idea for you take five or ten minutes and put a cool suggestion down below and see what happens and i mean with so much time right now and them fixing their game we may be able to put these forward towards dice and show them what the community wants so Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the gameplay commentary. I'm going to go record more PS4 because <laughs> internet. So have a good day, guys. Stay moist, ladies and gentlemen. Red eyes out. Goggles on.